Hello and welcome back to Barley Spring. Right, as we are now in the yard, we will put the bales away. So we'll just get them sorted out. I did move the equipment that was in this shed just over here, just out of the way. And we will eventually combine these two in the sense we'll get a direct drill. Because since we are using precision farming, it would be quite useful uh, to have a direct drill. It does help with your yield as well, so that's important to remember. So I'll just try a bit of a bit more first person loading here. Just get these bales off. So I reckon that this shed is good for bales. In the sense that I mean we've got loads of room on this part of the yard where we can make uh, TMR and or make our f animal food and all that. Um, but this shed in particular I think will be quite good because we can still place equipment in front of the bales so that's no worry there because I would be a bit concerned with some of the other sheds like where I did move the equipment to that it would be just a bit too a bit too tight oh hello forgetting bales like if we to put it in here for example uh, it would be a bit uh, a bit tight for getting them out and I would like a bit more room for that so We'll get these loaded very quickly. We do have a few other things to do today as well. I reckon we will probably get into the field to cultivate. Now, the the thing is I wanted to do barley in that field, but uh, barley is no good for the chickens as far as their food goes. So I will just re-drill wheat into that particular crop, and then the next season when we do deal with our... So okay, what's going on here? We, when we deal with our soybeans, uh, that can be uh, part of a crop rotation we can do later on. Now, is that... Oh, my. That's nay good. Just going to make sure. Is this actually against... Oh, no. Not even close. <laughs> right. Faff about with this. Right. We'll just put those there. And then we'll move the whole lot over a bit. There we are. Thought that seemed a bit finicky. Uh, right, well, uh, it's not the best bale stacking in the world, is it? If we go too high, they might fall through the back. I will try and stack six high, uh, just to give us the most room possible. If we can go up to six, should be able to reach up. Oh, no. Should be able to reach up to six at least. Right, so we'll get this sorted. I also have decided that the chickens deserve their uh, a full amount of food. Here, I'll just get these shifted a bit over to the side. Whoops. There we go. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll just do uh, we'll just do four for now. We don't have a lot of straw bales, and we won't really have a lot of them because it is four thousand. Uh, sorry, nine thousand liters. That's what it is. I like that we can fold this up. So I can push things along, because then I'll just push these. That's absolutely brilliant. Right, I'll very quickly collect this hay bale and the other two that are over here, and then uh, we'll move on. Alright, well, as you can see, we are at the shop now, so what my plan is, and as I was literally in the middle of saying, is that we're going to purchase some food for the chickens. Because uh, all we have is their wheat, but we do need a few other things. So we'll hop into our um, menu. Let's have a look at the sales again. Oh, hello. <sighs> you know what's frustrating about this is the fact that, <laughs> that I want it, but also you cannot lease used equipment. Oh, well, used vehicles, yeah. Uh, it's only six months old as well. It's Oh, that's so good, that. But would it fit on the farm? I suppose that would be a replacement for our uh, 3670, but we won't do it. We'll, we'll stick with what we have for now. If it comes up again in the sale, then it's meant to be right. Let's have a look at what we need. So we'll go straight to bales, because one of the options for our chickens is a power food and that includes soybeans and alfalfa hay so we will opt for the I believe it's only in round horse hay haylage we might be able to use compact alfalfa but I will just use 
the alfalfa, where are we here, round alfalfa, hay. We'll use that just in case, and we will collect, um, I don't know, maybe four of them for now. So we'll buy four of those. And what else do we need? We need, I did write it down. So CCM, uh, in the first episode, I believe I was a bit confused as about what it was. I forgot what exactly it was, but we can buy the bales of it. So CCM is essentially maize that has been turned into a few different things. So you can take it, run it through CCM mill, which will turn it into CCM uh, that you can ferment or not ferment. In this case, these are fermented bales. We'll just get four of them. Um, main color. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, let's go for blue. Something a bit different. Uh, it's not extra, so that's fine. It's a bit more expensive, but the replacement for this would be if we were to use maize, for example. Um, this would be what we would use instead. So we will purchase four of those as well. I know it's a bit pricey, uh, but it's fine. We also need a moisture food. So in this case, we will purchase pallets of... Uh, where are we here? Pallets of carrots, if I can find them. There we are. Uh, for now, we'll go with four as well, I suppose. Uh, we'll see how it looks when we do feed it to them, but yes, this is quite the collection of, of extra things that we have for the chickens, but and the ducks, of course, but it will be for the better. Oh, right. Fantastic. We can use this little forklift. I do really, really like this forklift. It's very versatile. So I'll use it for our pallets here. Always like when there's a shoppy shop at the shop. Right, we'll just collect. I oh, should be able to get all four of them at once, which is brilliant. So we've got 4,000 litres of carrots, which the moisture food will use for the chickens in the future. I can't remember exactly... Oh, hello. can't remember exactly all of the options. I believe uh, sugar beet and, and that sort of thing might be an option. So in the future, we'll just have to grow our own, I suppose. But for now, carrots are fairly inexpensive uh, to get their food production all the way up. Oh. Get that. Get off. Am I on a bit of an incline? Oh, I am. That's why. Probably throwing me off just a bit. Brilliant. There we go. And I reckon with the bale spike will be easier for the others. So I will load these on. And then we'll see you back at the farm. Alright. We're just arriving back now. And we have our trailer full. These small CCM bales were a bit frustrating to deal with. Uh, once I had them like that and started to drive away, I realized they didn't strap down when they are standing upright, so I had to lay them down. Luckily I can uh, actually maneuver them without any super strength, so that's pretty handy for that. Uh, however, now we have to get it all into there. So what I might do is actually just reverse in um, I still haven't fully decided. I, I might just keep the wall off for now. Um, instead of putting it back and taking it off every time. Um, but we shall see what happens. Now this might be a bit more problematic. Might have to just do them individually. Oh, hello. Right, I mustn't forget how... Oh, yes. We are set. Look at that. Much more manoeuvrable with the 5S, I must admit. But I think everything should actually just start to disappear once we get close. Now I could be I could be mistaken. This could be it might have to be loose uh, of all these things, which means we might have to go back and get our here. I'll just try and unstrap it and see if anything happens. No, right. Okay, we might have to load it in. I'll try loading the bales in individually. Um, I've given myself even less room to do this, but should be should be quite fun. We'll see. Get the forks out. It doesn't have to be fantastic. I just really think that the the bales just have to be in the trigger. So as long as I can, <laughs> as long as I can manage somehow. Right, I've got one of these, so we might as well just try it. Try it and see. Right. 
well that's not working so uh, that's a good we might have to shred them I suppose oh hang on a minute actually can we not open these bales ah yes that might help that hasn't done anything right I reckon we will have to shred them I'll just move it to the side for now right as I say I am I am figuring out maze plus um, I have for sheep in the past like on silver run for example I was just dropping bales directly um, so we'll see if we can with the alfalfa hay if not we'll have to shred it but that's fine we do have one a shredder that is so I think we might have to Right, I'm just going to roll this a bit closer in. And nothing. Right. So, I will just confirm that they actually will take these foods. Uh, yeah, that's all the foods they need as well. Okay. What I'll do is I'll get this trailer out of here because I, re I reckon this is a bit uh, of a mess. Yes, I will bring the trailer out somewhere and uh, bring in the bale shredder so we'll be right back with that all right so I know that this is a straw blower I know it's for straw um, but I hope it's not exclusively for straw I mean we don't we're not blowing it at them I just want to be able to put it in the trigger if not I am at a loss for what to do uh, so what which I will definitely need some help for but Oh right, we don't need super strength to load these in, which is quite nice. But we don't, I don't even know if they'll work or not. Right, how do we turn it on? Oh, unload. Oh, it would probably say... It would probably specify if it could. I really don't think this is going to work. And I, Now I'm caught on the tree. Yeah, this is a mess. I don't think this is right. If anyone has any insight on how to feed my chickens, that would be fantastic because now, um, yeah, just don't know. <laughs> don't know if I if I had need it all loose. I suppose what I could try here. What we'll do is, well, at least we have the the uh, thing down here. Can I not get that out now? Right, okay, well we'll sort that out later. What I'm going to do is I'll try and at least put the carrots in. I'll try and get a pallet of carrots in to the... Oh, is that opening now? Oh, that's how you open it. Right. I reckon I can't get that out now, so I'll have to sort that out later on. And I'll switch this to that, so we can actually get out of here. Right, I knew Maze Plus was going to be a bit different of a thing, but I didn't expect it to be straight off the uh, bat like this. Right, now we're caught on the wall, caught on the fence. Oh no. Right, um, I'll swap out the bale fork here for a pallet fork, which I believe we have one. I'll have to have a quick look. Front loader tools, we do not. So I'll try and use this for now, but what I'll do is I'll try and get some... I just want to get this out of the way. There's another fence there. Um, I'll try and get a pallet of carrots into their food trigger, and if it does work, then I suppose... That's good. <laughs> but, we still, but we still can't get anything else. So, alright, I'll have to maneuver the trailer, and... Right, I'll collect a pallet of carrots. Alright, moment of truth if they will at least take... Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, well, at least we know they can take carrots. Um, there must be a way. There must be another way to shred these bales. There has to be. I'm going to try this bale one more time. Um, and then what I'll do is, uh, off camera, because I don't want to faff around with it too much more, is I'll get all the uh, carrots into their trigger. Now... What I could try as well is just very quickly to... No, I'm right on the spot. There's no way it's not. I will do a very quick cheeky fiddling here and see. Sometimes... No. Hmm. Right, well, any insight with that would be fantastic. 
um, as to how to... I'll probably be recording the next episode before I hear from uh, f any feedback on this, but I will look into it in the meantime as well. But what I will do, because we do have their food, so they will get it somehow, um, is... Right, I will just leave this here for now. I'll sort out the... Uh, <laughs> I'll sort out the rest of these carrot pallets, uh, and then we can actually move on. Alright, well we are actually at the shop once again. Uh, I did try the feed mixer, but unfortunately it could not shred the alfalfa or CCM bales. Uh, and I did reset this back here. Uh, we're not here to pick that up actually, we are doing some other field work. So, what we'll do now is we do need a lime spreader. So we do have the base ones, we do have this fertilizer spreader, but unfortunately it doesn't do lime. The bradle does but it is £45,000, so I've gone and found a couple of nice little mods. We have the Amazon here for 21.7. It holds 6,000 litres and an 18 metre uh, spread at 16 kph. This one is one I was more tempted by the few thousand pounds more, um, but we do get a wider spread and it is quicker as well. So it could actually replace this in the future. We could sell this, but for fertilizing, I mean that's too good, it's too good. But we might not need that distance as well, so for now we will purchase this. Um, I think it looks quite good actually with the Trellebergs on there. Um, right, we'll get this very quickly changed over, nothing too fancy. I'll go, oh, not what I was doing, one, two, there we go, perfect. Didn't mean for that to say BS, it was supposed to be Brun's spreader, but we'll just leave it as what it is. Right, 20, 24,500 pounds. We are going to purchase that straight out. Uh, I also have decided I am going to collect collectibles, because uh, they're only a thousand pounds, but they will help us immensely, especially considering we have to purchase also. Oh, yes, this will be very useful. This cane, animal cane mod by JMF. Uh, will be something we purchase in the future because as you can see it is uh, it's it's not a cheat what it will be used for is just to simply transport calves to and from the shed to the pasture that's all and it's an absolutely fantastic uh, mod so we will use that in the future as well but for now we do need our sensor because we have to know how much of everything we're putting on and all of that I reckon a bit of a weight would be useful because uh, the lime spread is quite heavy. I suppose even just the... Uh, uh, we'll go for the 750 just in case. We can always upgrade it in the future. Um, actually, yeah, we do have three point on the front of the other Massey, which we will need. Um, yeah, I reckon a bit of extra weight wouldn't hurt at all. So we'll buy that for... Oh, now we're out of money. That's alright. We can lease to own as well. Do not forget... Uh, we also need to purchase some lime, so I should not forget to do that. Um, see, something like this I probably could have put on a lease to own, but it's alright. It's done. It's done now. Right, we'll connect to this here. We won't use the 5S, I don't think, for this. Um, yeah, I reckon once we get, once we get lime in, it's going to be quite heavy. Uh, so we will switch it all over to the other Massey, but we do need... I believe it was 8,000. I've just... Let's see, make sure I haven't skipped over it here. Perfect. Uh, I believe it's 8,000. It is 8,000. We might actually just sell that anyways. Because we've got loads of slurry and all that. I tried to use as much of the green as we can. Right, so lime is very inexpensive, luckily for us. So we'll just get the 8,000 we need. And that should go quite far, actually. Unless the fields are absolutely rubbish. But we shall see. Right, we'll get these filled up, and we'll see you in the field. Alright, we'll be a bit tight with this here, but we should be fine. Brilliant. Right, so I reckon we might as well just start where we are. So first thing we have to do, just to get all this, so we have to unfold the crop sensor, and turn it on. So that's on. Brilliant. Although the pH value doesn't say any... Oh, right. Once we're in the field, it does say. Brilliant. So, really, based off how much we actually have to add to the field, I think we're doing alright. So, right, we'll open the slider. Oh, there it is. Love that. 
And I believe there's another thing you have to do. Right, lower the gauge wheel. Right, that's on this side here. That's that there. Now it's active and we can actually get started. So it should be a pretty good spread. But we'll just, yeah, we'll just start. Oh, brilliant. Right, if we miss bits, it's fine. I, I, from what I can remember with precision farming, you you don't have to... Here, we'll get the map up. You don't have to get exactly all the bits. It sometimes will get bits that you've missed, which is very handy indeed. Right, so we will... Oh, this is doing it without any struggle. The 5S, even to just get moving, uh, was a, a bit of a struggle uh, with this very heavy piece of equipment. Well, with 8,000 litres of lime. Right, we do not want to lime the water. Don't want to end up in the water either. Right, so we will just crack on with this. Uh, reckon it won't take very long. Uh, we can even just go back up this way. Might be a bit easier. Uh, and then we'll go along the bottom. Yeah, if we can get this done in a timely fashion, then what we can do is get the helper in, get a helper in, uh, to do a bit of cultivating. Because we will start the cultivating so that the helper doesn't fully, fully struggle. Because it will. Um, if I don't give it a bit of a headland, might end up in the uh, in the in the pond there, in the water, in the stream, whatever you want to call it. Right, so we'll crack on with this, get it into a bit of a time lapse, uh, and then once we're done, we'll go straight to collecting the cultivator. I reckon, get it cultivated. Alright, well, uh, it seems we've got all of that done. I was going to go straight into cultivating, but I've had a change of heart on that. Uh, right, let's look at pH. Looks fine. This is not part of the field, although it looks like, looks like it could be. But uh, we'll just lose even more crop. We do need this area to turn around, so it's fine. Absolutely fine. What I will do, change a heart, as I say, from the cultivating, because what I'd like to do first is, here, we'll shut that off, but we will lower it down, and we will use it in just a second, because, look at that, we used, we used only about 40% of our lime as well, so it will go quite far, I am glad I purchased this. Um, I think, that being said, I will sell our little fertilizer, I say little, but it's got that massive spread on it, but I will sell it because it was about the same price as this, and we could use that money because I've also decided to upgrade our wind rower. Now it is quite small, and that's why, and we do have a massive field uh, of grass that needs rowing up to be turned into silage. Uh, let's find a nice home for this, perhaps over this way. Uh, what we're going to do now, here I can turn that off for now, is uh, I'm gonna I think I'll use the 5s for this because it just might oh hello might feel a bit more appropriate plus we will get this readied up with the cultivator because that is the job after we spread some slurry because we do have some slurry as well here we'll get that all closed up detached brilliant uh, for now I'll just tuck this out of the way we will hook up to the cultivator soon, but we do have loads of slurry as well. We might as well take advantage of it. And the nice thing is we don't have to use a double application rate, which uses up slurry very quickly, uh, but rather we can use a single application because that's all we need for precision farming. So we'll get that attached and we'll get it filled up. Oh, brilliant. And it looks amazing on the 5S. Oh, so good. Right, we'll get this filling up quite slow, so we'll get it filled up, and we'll see you back in the field. Alright, we're all connected now with our sensor and all. Uh, as we can see, the pH value is perfect, but nitrogen does need uh, to be dealt with. So we can turn this on, and we'll have a look at the spreader here and make sure. So all we have to do is... Right, turn it on. Brilliant. And we'll get started. Oh wow, there's the there's the spread all right. So I think it's 11, 10 or 11 meters. Um, but it would seem as though we're doing quite
quite well. I will go straight up and down here and I'll get that small bit afterwards. I just want to keep it very straight on because slurry does go quickly. So I would like to make certain that it is going well. And as you can see by the map at the bottom left corner, uh, it is applying to the perfect amount. Just make sure not to put slurry in the uh, <laughs> into the water either. Right now, I should be able to cover this area quite well. And it's not the end of the world if we miss bits, little bits of slurry and all that. There's so many fields to to get precise, if you will, um, that I'm not too worried about it. We we will slowly but surely perfect the uh, the art of precision farming as well um, by ensuring that we get maximum, well, as close to maximum field uh, bonus rewards as we can do uh, because it does help a lot in the long term when you're selling crops and all that and just selling anything that's, you know, derived, I suppose, from a crop of some sort. So we will crack on with the slurry spreading here and it should not take, oh my, shouldn't take too long. Uh, as I said, I have decided uh, to collect the collectibles so I think this might be a good opportunity especially considering that the collectible we're about to collect looks a little like what we're using right now as far as kit or oh, not really but it has been collected or it's a water tanker so ah well they look similar right so that's a whole big thousand pounds in our bank account uh, we can treat these as you know subsidies or something like that we'll we'll sort it out as we go uh, we'll probably have to fill up some more slurry here very soon uh, but we've covered quite a bit of ground uh, with the slurry that we have so far so we'll crack on with it Just approaching the end of the slurry spreading there we have it so uh, the the map looks a bit off it's a bit strange that's all but as you can see we have pH as perfect and nitrogen is not oh no right so potentially that just means that we have to... Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh dear. That might mean that we have to apply more in the future, or I've just wasted a bunch of slurry, but we shall see. Right, it says here nitrogen is good. Perfect. Nitrogen is not perfect. That is very strange. So, let's go here and see. Hmm. Right, so that's why it's a bit funny, because it's all different states of nitrogen. So does that mean that we will need... Right, nitrogen is showing good. We, have, we need weed control and tillage as well. So, right, it says it's not... Well, it doesn't say anything, actually. It just says nothing. Hmm. Right, well, any help with that as well would be useful. I've never seen that before, especially since we just did spread a load of slurry on the field. Hopefully not for nothing, um, but I suppose we'll see. Yes, I would like some uh, clarification on that if possible. Right, for the meantime, we'll go and tuck this away and uh, we'll move on to the next task. Alright, so the next task does involve getting the field cultivated. So we'll start on this side here because my plan is to hire a helper for this. Uh, now, oh, it's... Okay, good. I thought I was digging into something else. Now, in the future, I definitely, absolutely want to get a direct seed drill. Um, it'll just help with everything, including the... Um, the precision farming, which is important. Oh my. 
Right, so this is a bit of the field around. I'll try not to cultivate more than that. I really just want to go along along this edge one time so that the helper can crack on with it because uh, I have had a thought of what to do uh, for our bale situation. So there are two mods uh, that I forgot about. One that I've used in the past, not in a series I don't think, but I have used it and it's effective. Um, and the other one is something that I have used in FS19 but it was part of the global company mod if you remember that. Now I'm hoping that this does not take away the grass that's there. I'm just gonna watch it for just a second before we move on and show you what I'm on about. Because if he does decide to carry on through the grass that would be bad. Yes, okay. That was my concern. So what I'll do then is um, I'll just go along. Well, I suppose we could get this little bit as well. Uh, no, I might regrass that actually. Anyways, let's just start here. We'll just do a proper headland then. Fine, fine, fine. Um, just to appease the helper. Because then it should be fine, right? Actually, what I'll do is I'll go up here and then I'll just set the helper off down the other way and it should should uh, carry on properly right so as soon as I get this sorted I will hop to the shop menu and then we can head down there and actually collect the mod in question but I just want to get this sorted and yeah it'll be very very nice when we have our direct seed drill uh, in the future Right, so as long as it goes to the left should be fine, which I'm pretty certain the helpers do. Right, enough of that. We will head to... I uh, actually don't remember what it's in. It might be in animals, actually. Uh, it is, perfect. So it's the Go Whale BZT, and it is a very simple mod, but as you can see, it literally shreds the bales apart. Now, uh, we'll definitely opt for this and we'll see how it works. So it's 2150, which is a small price to pay if this does work. Just want to make sure he doesn't drive into something he shouldn't be doing. Right, that was my concern. Right, I'm going to set him up on this side here. Hopefully it uh, carries on the other direction but we'll, we'll keep an eye if it does cultivate that up it's fine I'll just repaint it uh, for free of course because it's the helpers fault and they're not going to pay for it uh, right so what we'll do is we'll hop into the Massey here the lovely lovely 5S I will get the uh, where can we put this now um, uh, for now I'll just stick it here we don't really need it. Oh, no, we'll need it when we drill, so I'll put it elsewhere. Right, I'm still sorting out where I want to put everything as well. Right, enough of that. Uh, I'll put this somewhere, and then I'll see you at the shop. Alright, attached, and while we're here, we might as well take our bale shredder back with us, uh, and then we'll see you back at the farm. Alright, so I do have one of these CCM bales on here, um, but it still says you need to fill the tool. So I'm a bit concerned that it's not going to work, but we shall find out in just a second. Mm, that is a bit of a shame there. Right, so I accidentally found a very cool feature with the pallet fork, or sorry, the bale fork. You can actually extend this up. So if you want to have more bales on, you can. That's very handy. Uh, but right, one thing at a time. That's all right. Not uh, an issue we had, at least, but it's good to know that that's an option. Now, I really hope this recognizes. Oh, yes. Go on. Get in. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. That is fantastic news. Right, so at the very least, they are getting their protein food. Now, the base food is the only thing that's a bit problematic. Look how excited they are. Well, they were running. Mostly always running. Oh, that's just brilliant news. So, it takes ages, and that's fine. So, we'll let it do its thing. And it will probably fill quite slowly. 
Right. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll let that do its thing, and I'll come back and uh, get a few more bales sorted. I'll probably try and bring them all here, and then get them loaded. All right, while we're here, might as well collect our collectibles, because we're already short on cash. Let's have a look. See? Right, that'll do its thing. Let's check on the helper. Right, it's, uh... All right, taking a bit more ground than I was anticipating it to do, uh, but that is <laughs> that's my fault for not stopping it. Uh, but I'll go and clean that up along the edge later on, or I could even just re-drill uh, it as grass, not drill it, but uh, just fill it in with uh, with grass. But that's fine. A bit more crop is fine as well. So this shouldn't take too much longer. We won't be drilling anything here until. September anyways because we'll be putting wheat in for the chickens and ducks uh, but now that that's done we will very quickly get the rest sorted all right so all done for the alfalfa hay now now we still have to sort out these ones so what we'll do is right we'll drop off the go whale shredder somewhere and because at least we know that that works it's a shame that we have to have so many different uh, implements for for one sort of job but it is all right because all oh, right I want to return my sp uh, spreader there as well so what we'll do we'll not return but sell and then yeah get a new one so for now I'll just tuck this in in here because uh, we also have to go down to the shop to collect a bucket because we need a bucket for this next task and eventually we'll need one anyways um, we could possibly use one of the buckets we have and that is for oh wow many things I think we'll use that. 850. That's a thousand. Right, you know what? We'll try this instead. Because uh, then we don't have to go to the shop. So we'll get connected to that. Just to try it. And then in the future, if we need, we can go and purchase a bucket. It's just, it'll be about 1,800 or 2,000 pounds um, when we have a perfectly good functioning thing here. Might as well use it. Right, so we'll head back over to the CCM and we'll get the bales cut open. Alright, so we'll drop that down, we'll go over here, and it should give us the option to cut. Fantastic! So now we have this loose CCM, and we will hopefully be able to collect it with this manure fork. Oh no, it's too loose I reckon. Right, let's have a very quick look. Thought I had it there, thought I had it. Now these, do they hold different things? I don't even know what CCM is on there. I'll have to have a look here to see if it is on here at least. CCM. Right, so it's it's the corn with the little pig. So now I'll go back here and see if that's, if we see corn with the little pig. Do not here neither. So it turns out we do need a bucket. Right. Should have figured because it is loose and all. Uh, so we'll put the we'll put the manure fork back and we'll go and buy a bucket, I guess. And, oh, Sparky. Come on, mate. Clearly in the way there. Right. Uh, what I'll do before that is... Oh my goodness, there's deers and dogs running in front of me. Uh, what I'll do first is just to make up for it, especially, is I will collect this cheeky little collectible right here. There we go. Nice little pig collectible. And I think I'll be extra cheeky, one more level of cheek, and collect another one, unless it's not where I thought it was. So I'm just going to put this back, but I'm almost certain I saw one hiding. Aha! What a beautiful little horse. <laughs> Okay, brilliant. So now we've at least paid for our bucket there with uh, a few collectibles. And we'll take our spreader down to sell that as well. Because I really think we'll use 
will either use green fertilizer, so that's to say some sort of some type of poop, whether it's slurry or manure, and then we'll use uh, the I guess we could use the spray if we really need uh, to add fertilizer in. So yeah, we'll get this sorted. We'll see you down at the shop. All right. Well, first things first is we will drop this off here. Let's get it lowered down. And it is a great piece of machinery. Do not get me wrong. Lovely bit of kit, but... Oh, hello. So is this a lovely bit of kit? Oh, it's too exciting collecting those now. Uh, right, we'll get this sold for 21915. That's pretty good, actually. Get that sold. Jog on. Uh, the, ni <laughs> the nice thing is, though, that, well, we did have to buy the other fertilizer spreader. So it was kind of, that's the trade-off, I suppose. Uh, now we do need to look for, no, nope, this is ours. Any new sales? Ooh, quit tempting me. Don't have the money anyway, so it's not quite as temptating. Tempta temptation? Not as much temptation. Right, so this is our main bucket, 1600. Is there any other fancy? That's too fancy. Uh, right, we'll get this as long as we see a little bit of corn with a little pig. Come on. Right, snow, lime. Ah, there we go. CCM, beautiful. Purchased. Right. Let's get it connected, and we'll see you back at the farm. Let us see. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Let's get it all in if we can do. Should It should all fit exactly, because it is a thousand litre bale. And now, can we feed it to the chickens? Yes! Happy days! Look at that! We are feeding our chickens in full. Amazing. Right, so let's go back here and I suppose I'll just grab those bales and uh, get them all cut. So I won't uh, I won't bother you with this too much. At least we know it can get done. So we'll just... Oh, no. <laughs> Can't really throw those bales, unfortunately. Uh, but yes, we will get these shifted over there, cut open, and then we'll get them loaded into the chickens. Alright, well, that is all done. All of their food uh, has been sorted. Look at that. So they are at not quite total capacity effectiveness. I wonder why. Do these have to be all out of the red? Um, but that's good to know at least. So energy food is the only thing that we won't have more of straight away. Although it is wheat, so we can always buy whatever it is they are missing. Cows are fine. Don't even necessarily want to... Uh, well, actually, they're not fine, are they? These are all at zero. Hmm. Right, well, we might do a bit of... That's why I thought about swapping these round. But then we wouldn't produce any slurry or milk. Right. Well, we will sort that because that is no, that's no good at all to have it not at full. Uh, so we'll get that sorted. But we should check on... Ah. Almost done. All right. Uh, well, what we'll do is very quickly tidy up the rest, and then we'll be able to go and drill in the next month. Very exciting. I know this episode has been... Uh, it's uh, another action-packed adventure, at least sorting out all of the uh, chicken's food, especially, was a big, a big part of it. Um, but we did get it sorted in the end. We really went quite far here, eh? Hmm... Right, well, what I'll do is I will get this sorted, but I'll probably just clean it up uh, off-camera, because uh, this will be a perfect time to end the episode. Absolute amazing August. What a great way to start. Right, the only thing I'm a bit concerned about is the nitrogen levels, although I did have a cheeky check back on the first part of the video, and nitrogen was showing at 15 uh, kilograms per hectare so it must have done something of it well clearly it did something you could see it having done something on the nitrogen map here you can see the difference but we might we must have to do it more than once I didn't know that that um, per perhaps that's a green manure thing I don't know if anyone has any insight on that would be lovely to know but 
as I say, this is the end of the episode. I'll get this tidied up off camera and it'll be all ready to drill in September. Right, well, thank you so much for watching, and until the next one, please do take care, and bye for now.